the garage overhead door and stuff. This is for bootlegged off. Goes under here, comes out over here, comes up to here to this receptacle outlet. It's bootlegged. Not supposed to use a. And then this right here, these are low voltage wires. This is the control. This is the control for the lawn sprinkler system. So the lawn sprinkler system is not working. That's why all those hoses are out there. Foundation repair. That's what it looks like. So what do we got going here? Oh, while we're here. This receptacle outlet, we don't expect it to be, and it's not GFCI protected. This goes to the overhead door. This is what this video is about, is the garage overhead door, metal overhead door. We got things we're supposed to have. Check this out. This is that spring tension notice that's on both corners. Check that out. We're supposed to have warning notices posted on it. We're supposed to have an emergency handle. We're supposed to have courtesy lights. You're supposed to have all those things. Check that out. Check that out. Now, I only do the safety reverse with the optic sensors. I do not. <laughs> I do not do a block test. That's the spring. It's rotating. I'm just disclosing right now. If you want to do a block test, I got instructions on how to do a block test. But I'm a home inspector. It's do no harm. Do no harm. So that's what I, I just check the optic sensor. So those are all the things that are good with the garage car overhead door entry thing. Is that the whole story? No way. No way. I'm just getting started. These optic sensors are just a smudge higher, but higher all the same than six inches from the floor. You do not have a pull handle inside of the door. I think I already mentioned this. That's not GFCI for tech. This control switch is not supposed to be closer to the threshold of the floor than five feet, so little hands can get to it. So that's, that's what we got, it's too low. And these control wires are not supposed to, they're supposed to be held in place with insulated staples. Those are not insulated staples. So that's what's wrong with it. We do not have insulated staples, so the switch is too low. We do not have a warning notice. We do not have pull handles. The door has not been decommissioned. The door lock. See, you can close the door and lock that, and then somebody comes in. The optic sensors are just a little too high. And the lawn sprinkler system doesn't work. 